Hey everyone, so I figured I'd give you guys a um, quick look at the aquaponics setup I built in my basement. Um, it's got a 30 gallon tank on the bottom. It's actually a little low at the moment, I need to fill it up again soon. It has some goldfish and two red-eared sliders that I caught when they were probably the size of a quarter a couple years ago. Um, so, you can see down here um, that pump feeds water up the tube and in through the back of my setup here, um, usually into one of the pots for some little extra filtration. Um, a good flow right there. There's some bamboo, some red peppers and cucumber. It's all been doing fairly well since I put it in here. Um, I transferred them into the grow tank I want to say a week ago uh, from dirt and they're all doing well. There's some chains for the cucumbers to grow up. Um, everything drains through here. Oh, I want to get some goldfish in the grow tank. Um, this is adjustable. Um, if I move that rubber band up or down, it changes the water height inside uh, the tub. This just kind of keeps anything from going down that it's not supposed to. Um, then I have my dirt growing areas. Um, more red peppers. Um, back here, there was some mint and things growing, planted here, it didn't start growing. Got a tulip tree, uh, just for the hell of it. Uh, got a couple apple trees that are doing well, actually. They're, they're a couple, couple months old at this point. And uh, a bunch of strawberries, they're doing well. I tried putting some strawberries outside, but they were eaten pretty much right away. Uh, I got more bamboo. Uh, this piece and that piece there were the same piece of bamboo that I got from a dollar store one day, just randomly. Uh, cut it in half, put half in dirt over here, another half in the aquaponics setup, and both are doing well. Um, this piece was the top, and it was down to about here when I got it, maybe four months ago, so it's grown all the way up. And this had no, these two new sprouts are new. Um, over here in the back, we've got some more tulips back there. Japanese maple, it's actually not doing so hot. It's drying up a little bit. I gotta water it more often. Um, and then I got snow peas, which are doing well. Uh, snow peas climbing all up the chains and everything. Um, take a step back and get the full, full view of it. Um, actually, snow peas got their first, where is it, first flower, notice it today, so hopefully we get some peas going soon, um, yeah, so that's, that's my setup, um, I got all the plants in the uh, aquaponics tub in their own individual containers, um, originally when I put this together, something was wrong, uh, my levels were off, I think the water level was way too high, and everything I put in, I put it in too early, so it all died real quick. Um, and I found that having just the big surface of the uh, substrate caused some issues when I had to go in and um, move anything around. I'd move one thing and disturb everything else. So I decided this time to try to put everything in their own containers. A lot of this is recycled um, materials. Uh, here is like a, a jug that was from the kitchen. Um, uh, p uh, plastic potters from the spring from my parents. This is actually um, top of a CD, like a CD package. Um, a water bottle, a couple other water bottles in there. Um, overall, it's doing well though. Um, you can see here the drainage system a little better. It's got it goes down. Um, it actually has drops down all the way into the water. Um, so even when it's low. It's not making that much noise. Um, I also plug up the top. 
and it prevents pretty much any noise from the drain uh, from reaching me anywhere else in the room. Um, but this is just a hole drilled into um, this tub I got from Ikea for like seven bucks. Um, so, and then it has uh, a seal that clamps on both ends, it just screws together. And then the screw it in there, um, drop it down. Worked quite well. Um, the whole setup was really easy to put together. Turtles here. Oh, it's actually time to feed them, so I might as well do that now. You can see they're getting all excited because I'm here and know what's coming. Uh, they just have just simple turtle pellets. So I'll throw these in there for them and see if they go after them real quick. Yeah, they're right up on that. So they'll eat and produce a bunch of waste. I don't get sucked up into the tanks. Um, goldfish go after the turtle pellets too, but I do have regular goldfish for them, food for them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions about my setup, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.